Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please consider subscribing to the channel and helping us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up today while you're listening. Today we're doing another Thread Up unboxing. Uh, if you've been following my Thread Up unboxing saga, I ordered three 50 pound denim rescue boxes from Thread Up back in October when they were running a special at 15% off. And instead of getting three big boxes of 50 pounds each, I got three smaller boxes and three giant poly bags and they're all mixed up. <laughs> so I'm not doing the thread up unboxing the way I normally do. If you're new to the channel, normally we go through them and piece by piece decide if it's a poop, a bolo or a bread and butter brand. And I count how many pieces I got in total and how much I paid per piece. But because these came the way they did, and two of the boxes were falling apart in the rain, and Keith actually had to re-bag them into garbage bags to get them into the laundry room, everything's all mixed up. So we're just unboxing them together, looking at what I got, talking about the brands, and learning as we go. Um, and then the next time I order, hopefully, we'll be able to keep them in some order. So he washes and dries everything that comes through here that we thrift or buy in bulk. And then we use these boxes to um, box them up and we bring up one box at a time to either unbox on the channel or photograph for listings um, we're pretty organized but today he brought me one and a half boxes apparently he had uh, done a couple loads and they didn't all fit in one box so we're gonna look at one and a half boxes okay so without further ado let's look at my thread up um, ooh. this is cute it's an Arizona Jean brand, but I don't care. So Arizona Jean brand is not a good brand. But these are cute. Kind of falls into the territory of like booty shorts. These are cute. Doesn't matter that there's an Arizona Jean company because you can probably still get like 25 to 35 for these. That's all in, however you break it up. Free shipping or you know, 25 plus 10 shipping or whatever you want to do. Because they're overalls, because they're ripped, because they're distressed, because you can use keywords like 80s and 90s, um, you can get more for that than that brand is actually worth. Sometimes it's about style, guys. Christopher Banks, this is a poop brand. Do not source this. I'm going to list them for like 10 <laughs> plus 10 shipping just to see what happens. Um, my camera really wants to come in and out. And there's like a weird light. Let's see if I can. Michael Kors. This is kind of a poop brand as well. I believe. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I believe maybe the shoes and purses still do well. I don't really deal with those types of um, items. You can let me know in the comments if you know. I know when I first started reselling, the Michael Kors purses and shoes were like a bolo. Um, even the pants weren't that bad, the jeans, but kind of gone downhill. We have a denim jacket by Gap. Yes. All right, guys. I love denim coats. Okay. Because they're just like the shorts and the overalls. You can sell even poop brands if you get denim coats for good money. Way better than you can get with the jeans if it's like a really bad brand. Gap is a solid bread and butter brand. Solid. So... I'm thinking like 20 plus 10 shipping on this, maybe even 25. It's a size medium. It's two-tone. It's just so cute. It's got light wash on one side and medium wash on the other. I mean, this is so 90s, 80s even with the two tones. Ooh, Joe's jeans, guys. That's a money brand. I love Joe's jeans. These are universal thread. I mean, I sell these all the time, though. Like, every time I pull this brand out of the dart box, I always go, you know, I make that, oh, I got a poop brand face. But, I mean, they sell. They have a following, for sure. Calvin Klein, the jeans are just not worth much anymore. These are poop. I would not source these on purpose. Will I list them for 10 plus 10 shipping? Yes, I sure will. I will get every little bit a profit I can out of these thread up purchases. This is one of my favorite. 
Okay, I know a lot of people tell me Hollister is poop. I like Hollister and Abercrombie and Fitch skinny jeans and the smaller sizes. Small sizes do really well. These typically, you know, only sell for like 18 all in with shipping. They ship, um, they're under a pound usually, but they sell quickly. Now on paper, this should be a bad brand. This should have a very low sell through rate, like on my guide. Um, on our clothing guide and our jeans guide, when we do the research on this brand, it comes through uh, based on research as having a low sell through rate. But when I list these in my store, they sell very fast. They defy all logic. <laughs> um, it's just one of those things that we can move and move really quickly. Um, I think all resellers have that. Like if you are in a group of resellers and you're all talking, I feel like there's always one thing that's absolute poop that somebody will tell you, no, that sells really well for me and for good money and I can move it all the time and you can't pay people to get rid of it. This is mine. What's yours? Do you have something that you sell all the time that everyone else wears, doesn't sell, but it's good for you? Let me know. Well, this might be an example of something I probably, I don't know. I was about to say this might be so damaged that I can't sell it. It is Levi's. It's really distressed. It's really ripped. See the back? And as I was looking at it and about to tell you, I think this might be something that's so damaged I have to not list. Because I try to sell everything I get in wholesale purchases. All the tags are cut out here. But it still has one tag up here. There's no size tag. You know what, though? I'm going to try it and see what happens. I mean, that may be how it's supposed to look. Once I get it on the hanger, I can see. Because, I mean, this is... It's just ripped everywhere and stressed. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm definitely going to try it. Make my profit. Okay, there's a huge bundle here. I'm going to throw them everywhere. Hey, speaking of more Alistair and... Booty shorts. So these are size zero. Hollister. Little booty shorts. And these I'll get 18 for. So like, however I break that down. Depends on how much it weighs and what I charge for shipping. But it'll be 18 all in. These are BDJ. I mean, poop. But I'll sell them. Then we've got. These are kids, I think, but I can't read. Dunn Stores. These are kids. I've never heard of that brand. Um, I'm not going to comp it, though, because it's kids. So I'm not too concerned. Uh, cut from the cloth. So this used to be a really great brand. This used to be a bolo. It's more of a bread and butter now, but I still like the, this brand, but I won't pay more than 2 bucks for it in the wild. These are cute, though. They have cuff tims. I'm going to put these in my first out pile. Cat and Jack, that's a kid's brand. From what I understand, it's a good kid's brand. I don't do a lot of kids. I typically only do kids when it comes to me in like a box like this. I'll list it and sell it. Oh, how cute. American Eagle denim booty shorts that are distressed. They're purple. Those are so cute. We also have American Eagle jeans. These are ripped and distressed. Ooh. Once upon a time, this was a super duper, super duper bolo brand. Um, I have only ever had one pair of these before. They came from a thread up box, believe it or not. And that was like... I want to say in 2018 or 19, so I don't know if this brand has held its value or if turds who race to the bottom have ruined it. Don't be a turd. We're going to comp it at the end, but I'm pretty stoked because that's a good brand, or at least it used to be. Celebrity Pink. Poopy brand. Never buy the short the jeans, but the shorts are okay. Uh, cotton on, so this is a 
another just okay brand, but I'm okay with the shorts. And this is Walmart brand, no bow, but it's more overalls. How cute! I got two pairs of overalls and a bunch of shorts. I'm really excited. I mean, those are things that you can move all year, regardless of brand, for good money. Get that return on my investment, and then profits on top. I'm putting them together so I can hold them up for you guys to see. Cute, right? They're black. All right, next up we have YMI. Okay, so this these are shorts, too, which is okay. I like shorts. You guys know that. Um, but this is an example of a brand that I would avoid with one exception. If you find the YMI Wanna Betta Butt Jeans, you'll want to grab them. They sell fast. They don't sell for a lot of money, but their sell-through rate is so quick. It's a really, really fast return on your investment. More cotton on. Shorts, these are the high-rise moms. Do well with mom jeans. And these are wild. This is a poop brand. But, you know, every thread up box, I get a couple pieces of this brand, and they sell. I mean, everything will sell. Size 16, too. So these are plus size, which will help. Okay, we're going to pull this little half box forward and get through these. Made well. Yay. That is definitely a Bolo brand. Put that over there at the money. Over there with the money jeans, I meant to say. Um, I do try to pull out the most expensive ones always first and um, list those up first. First in, first out, with the exception of really great brands, right? I got some old navies here, solid bread and butter. Love these. We've got Massimo. Black denim skirt. How cute is that? Joe's jeans. That's a bolo. That is a bolo. I'm going to throw it that way. All right. Okay, this is new to me. We're going to have to comp that together. It's seen, S-E-N-E, or Sine. Probably saying it wrong either way. <laughs> Chaps. Poop. Poop, but I'm going to list them and ask for like 10 plus 10 shipping. We'll see what happens. Oh, how cute. American Eagle. Um, size zero button flies. Love them. Love these. I do really well with the small sizes. Button flies always great. This is Walmart. No bow. No boundaries. Junior size one. I mean, I'll probably still list these for like maybe 12 plus six shipping or something. And we've got another pair of Madewell. Yay! Yay for money jeans. And the last pair in the box is, I do believe that this is a money brand. I haven't seen these in a long time. Been a couple of years on it since I've seen these kind of like the uh, I haven't seen mothers in a long time so we're gonna look them up just to see what they are worth nowadays since people love to race to the bottom make it tiny all right so let's look up these first these are I mean these used to be money but I don't know if they still are so we'll see the gold day women's jeans Oh, they're still money. <laughs> oh, yes. A brand. Well, I mean, you can still see terms. I was about to say a brand that people are racing to the bottom on and destroying, but um, you've got people selling them for way too low. Let's look at the solds. Guys, stop racing to the bottom. Stop it. This brand should not be selling for $20. Turds. Yeah, these are definitely money. Money! I got some money. All right, these are new to me. So we'll look at the S-E-N-E. -S -S -E. Eh, bread and butter. It's fine. Bread and butter is what pays my bills, guys. This is the whole business model. 
the money brands are just a bonus, right? All right, let's look at mother. Mother. And yeah, they're still money. But you got turds. Hey, listen, if you're watching this and you have your mother jeans up for $11.50 plus shipping, stop it. Stop it. Eleven fifty plus ten. No, stop it and do do better with your pictures. I'm not here to shame people, but I am here to tell you not to be a turd. Stop it. It's not me a turd. Yeah, see, that's what I remember mother being like. Um, mine are checking to see if they have a style or a name. They do have a style number. These are the rascal. So I want to look these up specifically. Let's see what this does. Oh. Oh. I'm not seeing the rascal. Um, okay. But you guys really need to stop racing to the bottom. If you're not racing to the bottom, I'm not talking to you, so don't get defensive. And if you feel some type of way or you feel defensive, it's probably because you are racing to the bottom. And you feel like you must defend yourself. Don't, don't defend yourself. There's no defense for racing to the bottom. Um, it may be time for a tough love video again on, on this topic. Because people always seem to think there's many reasons why it's okay and it's never okay. It's okay to run sales. If you want to list your, let's say mothers for $200 jeans, just for ease of math. And you logically think that for whatever reason, you're the excuse to the rule and you should be able to sell yours cheaper. Then put them up for $200 and run a 50% off sale. They'll sell real quick. That 50% off will attract a lot of buyers because they really think they really think they're getting a deal. And people like deals. People like sales. But don't list them at 100 Because the next person coming in is going to live there as an E and da, 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 just goes downhill from there. But that is a topic for another time. Um, it may be time for another tough little video on racing to the bottom. Hey, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything you saw in this video, reselling in general, thread up, denim, whatever, put it in the comments. Join my Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. We have a really good time in there. It's a great group. And go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.